Science makes the assumption that there is a fundamental unity. It seems to assume that there's all this difference going on, there's a difference between the observer and the observed, but there's this fundamental unity which it tries to express, it's trying to find either in terms of a fundamental particle or, or, some, or the, the fundamental unity of all forces. And this is what uh, the Yoga Vasishta goes on to, to say. Vasishta continued, All relationship is therefore the realization of the already existing unity. We're looking for relationships all the time. The scientists are doing it. We're doing it all the time. We're looking for patterns. We're looking for things to make sense. And all this is an expression of this fundamental intuition. Uh, of the already existing unity. It is regarded as relationship only because of the previous false and deluded assumption of a division into, su into subject and, and object. In fact, there is only one all, the infinite consciousness. Therefore, O Ram, realize this universe as the infinite consciousness. It is filled with the jugglery of the power of that consciousness. Yet nothing has happened, for the fool cannot be filled with more. It is filled only in the sense of a space which is filled with an imaginary city. Let's not limit consciousness. We think we've got this one life going on here, but every night, who knows how many lives we lead. Um, I mentioned previously, I had a similar experience of when I, I, I passed out momentarily and I, I lived a whole life within that few moments. That life I don't think had any relationship to anything that was happening on this planet, but it, it might have done, why not, why not? Who knows what's possible? Um, who knows what's possible after we die? Who knows what's what's happening when we sleep? Who knows what's happening between the the, 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 the time it takes to blink our eyes? So let, let's not limit consciousness. Only when the gold is forgotten does does one see a bracelet. Bracelet is an illusory appearance of gold. Even so are the illusory notions of a nation or the world and also that of repeated births and also the notion of just a single birth as well. When the false notion of the bracelet is rejected, the truth of the gold is realized. And when the false notion of the subject object is rejected, there is no ignorance to create a division. Though a lot, thought alone creates all these divisions and illusions, when it ceases, creation ceases. When it ceases, creation ceases too. Then you realize that all the waves constitute one ocean, dolls are wood, pots are clay, and the three worlds are absolute Brahman. In the middle between the sight and the seen, there is a relationship which is known as the seer. When the division between the seer, the sight and the seen is abolished, that is the supreme. Um, I wonder about the translation here, the, uh, in the middle between the sight and the seen, there is a relationship which is known as the seer. Well, there are, th there are three things here. There's the seer, the one who's supposed to be doing the seeing. There's the object which is seen. And there's the, there's the process of sight or of seeing. So I, I, I would tend to say that there's the uh, seer, the seeing and the seen. Uh, and, but oh, I think I, th I think it's the uh, the same thing here. We could say there is only the seeing, there is only the seeing, um, 
but uh, we shouldn't even limit it to one sensory process um, there isn't even any seeing there's only the supreme there's only the totality of the stream of experiencing that's the supreme when the mind travels from one country to another between them is cosmic intelligence and this is the space in which thoughts move it's just it's when the attention moves from one to the other um, that space is the attention it's the attention which is the cosmic intelligence and the attention can direct itself to itself and within that we have everything that is we have everything that is happening be that always that's what you are your true nation your true nature is distinct from the limited wakeful dreaming and sleep consciousness it is eternal unknowable not inert remain as that always remove dullness and be established in the truth in your heart and then whether you are busily engaged in activity or in contemplation remain as that always without cravings and hatred and without getting tangled in body consciousness even as you do not busy yourself with the affairs of a future village do not get tangled with the moods of your mind but be established in truth regard the mind as a foreigner or a piece of wood or stone there is no mind in infinite consciousness that which is done by this non-existent mind is also unreal be established in this realization in fact the mind does not does not exist if it did exist now it is dead yet this dead mind sees all this which is therefore false perception be established firmly in this realization he who is ruled by this mind which is totally non-existent is indeed insane and feels that a thunderbolt is descending from the moon therefore reject the reality of the mind from a great distance and be ever devoted to right thinking and meditation that's an interesting one from a great distance um, we can distance ourselves from the tendency to get hijacked by the notions of our cognitive process a process that's going on which we can observe and we can detach ourselves for, from and we can observe as if from a great distance I have investigated the truth concerning the mind for a very long time O Ram and have found none only the infinite consciousness exists so just as the scientists are exploring what they assume to be an inert universe and find that the underlying assumption between an independent observer and the inert universe that assumption is dissolving when we start looking into the nature of our own mind into the nature of who's doing this moving the hand across the across the screen um, you start looking into this notions the notion of an individual psyche of a separate self it, it, it dissolves because there's, there's there's nothing there only the infinite consciousness that is happening all the time <laughs> 